back to the big show where... What's going on tonight, Jeff? Oh, we're talking about uh, Freudian things. No, we were talking about Jungian things. You were talking about Freudian things. I was talking about Jungian things. We've got a hell of a show for you tonight, folks. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's beginning to look a lot like tweet mail. Oh, no, 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 no. Play the thing now. Tell you one thing. Who's on at the door? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Kenneth Branagh? What are you doing here? <laughs> Kenneth, I'm, I'm terribly sorry that. All right, knock it off. Thank uh, you very much. Hey, uh, are you Sir Kenneth Branagh? I am not Sir Kenneth Branagh. I keep asking you when you're here, and uh, you keep no. not being Sir Kenneth Branagh. No, no. Well, it's, yeah, it's I, well, you call me Sir, and that's nice. Well, that's, it's a start. Well, let me tell you this. Um, very soon, you are going to be Sir Kenneth Branagh. I happen to know Her Majesty. Uh, have you put in a good word? I've sent a letter. Or left a message on her, on her answer machine, yeah. Hello, this is the Queen! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out, bitches! Leave a message! <laughs> here an email type. Do you have some kind of film coming out or something? Well, as it happens, yes. What? Yes. I, I'm very, very fortunate to be in a film called My Week with Marilyn, directed by <gasps> Is Simon Is that the one Curtis. where... Yeah, that's the, did you, are you in that or did you direct it? I'm in it. I did not direct it. Simon oh. Curtis directed it. It stars the beautiful and brilliant Michelle Williams. Oh, yeah. And a very handsome young lad called Eddie Redmayne. A wonderful cast oh, of British yeah. actors. No, that's Judy the guy, Dench. That's the guy... Judy Dench, isn't it? Yes, she is. Dame, Dame, Dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. There you go. Dame Judy Jones and Sir Kenneth Brand. Well, she <laughs> she left a message really early on. Right. No, yeah. she's she's been working a little longer than I you. That's so. all. It'll come. It'll come. Yes. <laughs> Do you know the, the guy who's in that movie, Eddie Redmayne? Yes, yeah, yeah. He was in Pillars of the Earth. He was indeed. Yeah. I watched that. It was great. I liked him. He looks a bit like my brother-in-law. Really? <laughs> yeah, so he'll do well. Excellent. You sure it wasn't your brother-in-law in Pillars of the Earth? No? It may have been. OK. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure. We're doing the emails. Do you have Ex to? Uh, All right, then. Very much like What's the name that. of that film again? It's called My Week with Marilyn. My Week it's with in Marilyn, theaters eh? now, if you care to see it. You're very kind. Yeah. Of <laughs> go Thank you go and see it, everybody. There'll be tons of jokes about Socrates, Jung and Freud. <laughs> it's very Jung and Freudy tonight, isn't it? It's yes. very, yeah. I'm having a real which, problem. Are you, uh, which side do you fall Oh, I'm on very in firmly in the mystic Jungian side. Oh, are you? Yeah, okay. oh, yes. Yeah. So why, 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 why is that? Particular? Well, because I don't think everything's about sex, contrary to what you might think when I'm talking. I, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> are you, you are a little more Freudian, perhaps? Uh, well, I think that both have very interesting things to say in the very superficial, glib way I understand them. Well, uh, me too. I just like throwing the names around so people think I went to college. No, it's not. Nice. <laughs> Believe me, I do. It's very exciting. It's no, really, no, yeah. no. Uh, but you think Freud's the sexy boy and Jung is the deep, dark, mysterious boy? Well, I think the basis of the argument that they had after their friendship for... Uh, they were friends for about six years, but basically their relationship broke down because Jung wasn't prepared to concur with Freud's theory that everything was uh, sexual. Uh, and, and also, in, in those kind of relationships, it come, becomes quite about ego, doesn't it? So oh, well, I think so, so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there was a little bit... You put ego in there, that was Jung. No, that was Freud. It, well, yeah. Yeah, you, oh, you're very clever. <laughs> <laughs> so, re <laughs> Sir Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, we have to do some emails. We've got yeah, to. Actually, you don't have to do it. No, you can. We have to do it. People have emailed. All right, the, 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 the good... The good people of America have emailed. Yeah. It's important that we well, respond. The, the people, the good people are. Yes. Uh, uh, this is from Sean in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You ever been to Milwaukee, Wisconsin? No, I'd love to. Really? It's, it's very, like it. it's yeah, very cold you, in the winter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a place there. Yeah, he's got a place yeah, there. I'd like to go. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. You, can, you can stay at Jeff's place in Wisconsin. Excellent. That's the... Oh, yeah, and if I may say, you may not be a sir, but you'll always be daddy to me. <laughs> Well, they are. Big okay. night for you. You get hit on by the robot. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I can be a daddy in Wisconsin. Okay. 
me. Leave it with me. All right, then. Uh, Sean says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff and Sir Kenneth. It says it in there. <laughs> it just says it. You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> I have a crush on my friend who spends a lot of time volunteering. Is it wrong to start volunteering with her just to get close to her and not for the cause? Oh, that's it. You ever made a movie because you fancied the actress, that kind of a thing? Oh, of course not. Of course not. Um, you have! <laughs> of course not. Are you of playing course. with your junk right no, now? No, just no, the idea? Please. Please. Now, that... That is that is so Jungian, right there. No, that there. was Freudian. The that no, was Freudian. No, 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 it's such a Jungian remark to assume a Freudian intent with what was simply a placement of my hand. Yeah. Not any <laughs> any kind of fiddling going on there. No, despite... I think it was I was tapping into the collective unconscious, which was Jungian, and we were all thinking, is he playing with his job? <laughs> this is from Courtney in Brisbane, Australia. Now you must have been down to Brisbane, Australia. I haven't been to Brisbane. I have been to Australia, but not to Brisbane. You know, I've been to Australia and not to Brisbane either. Do you know why? Why? Other Australians told me don't go. <laughs> really? Well, that's no, well, true. They're the ones in Sydney and Melbourne are like, don't go there, man. It's awful. Well, they are. I must say, Australia, I love Australia. I've got me a lot too. of Australian friends, but they are rude about their other cities. So I've heard friends in Sydney say, Brisbane's a country town, mate. Don't go up there. It's a country town. <laughs> So. Yeah, but a uh, country town's not a bad thing, is well, it? Well, it's a city. It's a massive city. It's much more than a country town. So it's, it's, you're it's... defending Brisbane, but you've never been there. Well, no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm defending what I think to be the Jungian dismissal oh, of, of right. other cities by Sydney siders. It's as simple as that, you see, because of a Freudian obsession. Because they've got an opera house, haven't they, which looks like an enormous family. Vagina! No, well, it looks like a vagina! Well... That's ah, the thing. That's how they turn it around. Because yeah. most cities have a giant plinth. Yeah. Washington's got a giant penis yeah. there. But Sydney said, "No, we're going to go the other way. We'd like a vagina right there." No. But if, but if, but if, you, but if, if you're going to look at it, if you're going to look at it that way, and frankly, I've never looked at it that way. It's not, in fact, a vagina. It's, a, it's seven or eight vaginas all wrapped over each other, isn't it? I mean. Frankly, it's... Hey, hey, that's better. It's a, yeah. Yeah. it's a kind of meeting place for vaginas, it seems. Like anyway. lesbian row, but in yeah. Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. You can leave this in, it's educational. <laughs> yeah. What's that coming, I go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we only got time for one more. This is right. from Joel in Orlando, Florida. You ever been down there? Uh, no, I haven't. Of no, well, let me tell you, they got, the, uh, they got the Harry Potter thing down there, and you were Gilderoy Lockhart. Of course, yeah. 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 You bastard. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good uh, film series, that Harry Potter it's thing. Fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's yeah. fantastic, I think, yeah. Do you read the books? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. And I had a great time doing it. And it was, uh, it's also been lovely to see these, you know, delightful kids who are they very They all turned small. out pretty good, didn't they? They turned out fantastic. Well, Do you fact, know, I don't know what's going on. They must have... Because usually when their kids are big stars, they turn into complete douches later on. But these kids seem fine. Well, I think one thing that happened was that they were in their own sort of school. The, the, the studios where uh, the, the movies were filmed became this vast campus where, frankly... They all these were, kids were there, yeah. yeah and, and they were kind of... Uh, I think they were very mutually supportive of each other. A lot of people knew what the others were going through. So, in fact, they were, they were at Hogwarts on screen, but they were at the Harry Potter school they were kind in of, life. And kind of was, like Hogwarts, but in... Oh, that's yeah. lovely. So they had a bit of... Yes. <laughs> it was very nice. It's very nice. Up. They looked after each other, and they still do, and it's nice. It's very... Yeah, it's, you see, the good, good thing on. is that it's another generation of people in show business who are lovely. I think so, but I can say, I can say they're especially lovely. They're good kids. Yeah, no, they seem very in, nice. Grown up into yeah, no, nice that, young people. The ginger one was here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I was I worried. Mean, I was worried because I thought, oh, it's the ginger one. We've got the ginger one, and he was lovely. Rupert. Very nice. Very nice lad. Very funny lad, isn't he? He's very funny. funny. Very you know, good, wry sense of humour. Do you know what he did when he got all his money? I said, what did you do with all that money? He said, I bought an ice cream van. Oh. And he did. did he, he got an ice cream van and he goes around oh, and he, uh, you know, fantastic. gives out free ice cream to the poor. What, did, what was the one you've got? <laughs> <laughs> when you got all your money and made, say, your first three, four, five, ten million, <laughs> what did... What, what did you buy if it wasn't an ice cream van? If you didn't actually do that, what, what did you buy? What was the first First thing I really ever luxury bought? Luxury item. First luxury item I ever bought or will buy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Ken, I got my very own gay robot. Your own gay robot? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> well, we're, out, we're out of time. Uh, listen, uh, I, I know you just did the emails, but do you want to go for the big cash prize quickly? It's 50 bucks. Okay. All right, then. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? Time for the big cash prize! All right. 50 American dollars. 
Well, 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 just, I'm just testing. No, no, it's all there. Okay. Two ways to win. You can either answer one simple question or you can guess what's in my box. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? I understand that dilemma. I'm going to answer the question. All right, it's a very simple question. That you, well, you keep changing it. Well, it's not. There, you're some making them, them some difficult. Of, no, some of them are not simple enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. This is a good one. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. That's correct. Yes, I know. That's just leading up. <laughs> that's not. The, that's I thought just, that was the answer. No, no, no. It's just. But it's, I've already answered it. No, no, you haven't. You've just concurred. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, then you were just speculating. No, it's it's a, it wasn't a question at all. Then was it? It was a kind of. It was a kind of little scene, conversational was, scurry it, around you know, a piece you know of information. Was, no, no, no. It was. Uh, you're a film director, right? Yes. Like you start the film. It's a blank screen. Music. <laughs> <laughs> like that, setting the scene. I was setting. I got a bus. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Picture the scene. You're Pic in the North Atlantic, Iceland, Reykjavik. Right. Right. Exactly. Now, true or false? If oh. a female ferret goes into heat and does not have sex, she will die. <laughs> true. Absolutely correct. Fifty dollars. <laughs>